Today is Friday, June 2nd. I received this word at about 3.56 p.m. this afternoon. It's a word from the Lord, uh, specifically um, emphasizing the people of America. Um, I encourage you always to test the spirits. Always take it back to the Lord in prayer. Take it back to his word. Meditate on the scripture and let him speak to you there. This is what the Lord said. America, your time has come. I have been patient. I have given many warnings telling you to turn to me and, and live. Your wickedness has reached great proportions. Some of you have no idea the level of evil that is prevalent in the land, but I see it. I know. I have drawn a measuring line, and many of you are found wanting. Many of you who claim to know me know me not. You have a form of godliness, but deny its power. Many of you have become like the idols you worship, lifeless. Foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Your rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Shall I continue to look on while you defile my temple with your abominations? Many of you do not worship me in spirit and in truth. Your praises are empty, hollow like the gods you serve, the ones with no life and no breath in them, the ones that if I sent a strong wind would blow over, are you so foolish to think that a statue can protect you? I am God and there is no other. Where is there a God like me? I know not one. Those who deny me on the earth, I will deny before my Father in heaven. Many of you denounce me and then worship the things I commanded to appear. I form them out of nothing and that's what you place your faith in. What fools! I sacrificed my life to save you from the judgment to come. Today I set before you life and death. Oh, that you would choose life. Why do you weary yourselves with your endless counsel? You have become double-minded and unstable in all your ways, tossed like the waves of the sea by every doctrine your itching ears want to hear. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their allegiance is to themselves. They have decided to become their own gods. Who ever heard of such a thing? You are powerless without me. Apart from me, what can you do? Which one of you can turn back my hand when I raise it to strike? You have defied the one true living God. I am he and there is no other. Wrath shall fall upon your houses. I will blow away all your possessions with a fierce wind. I will batter your homes with wind and rain caving in the foundations. I will bring scarcity upon the land like never seen before. I will cut off your water supply. What was once a great nation under my protection will be torn apart like a lion tears apart his prey. I will devastate this nation. I will topple its economy. Many of you will be carried away as slaves. Many of you will die by the sword and by pestilence. I will bring diseases upon you, things you have not known. You will curse me in your hunger. Many of you will reject me still, but some of you will cry out in your desperation, and I will hear from heaven and I will be found by you. I will answer your cry and deliver you from your slavery. You shall be my son, and I will be your God. But some of you have not bowed down to Baal. Some of you refuse to compromise. Some of you bear fruit worthy of repentance. Those of you who have been washed by the blood of the Lamb, redeemed and set apart for a time such as this, those of you who heed my greatest command and put no other gods before me, you shall want for nothing. I will be your endless supply. Your steps will be ordered by me. I will keep you safe from danger. 
Many of you will relocate. I will bring you into lands you have not known where you will testify to those who do not know me that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Many souls will be saved by your confession and by my spirit working within you. I will break language barriers on your behalf. I will give you a word and you shall speak it. Many will turn to me and live. But as for you, America, the judgment, my decision is final. You shall fall with a mighty crash and never rise again. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the great I am, the beginning and the end. I have spoken and it shall come to pass. It shall not tarry. Wait for it.